um, I grew up in this very violent neighborhood, and um, I was arrested for shoplifting, I'm so embarrassed to say, and the judge, she went before a judge, and the judge said, you can go to jail for a week, or you can go and volunteer, like do hours, and the place I went to was a theater. And then the people at the theater were like, hey, come do a little thing, and I was like, oh. And then they were like, we work a lot with kids who are like, troubled, and I was like, I'm not troubled. And they were like, yeah, you're troubled. <laughs> So I believe a big part of my life is volunteering. So I do a lot of volunteer work. And so uh, my specialty, because you do so much of it, you get a specialty after a while. My specialty was working with 12 to 17 year old kids in prison. Because I felt that poetry is a way of giving yourself power. And if you name yourself, you give yourself the power to be somebody. So a lot of kids who are in prison or kids who are in gangs don't feel the power. They have any power in their communities and their country or whatever, so this is a way of empowering myself. The minute I started to say, I'm somebody, right? I have a story to tell. I better like be something and live in the world. Something changed, right? Then I empowered myself. We have to name ourselves the same way he named himself, right? So let's, who's, who's missed poetry in this field? Is there somebody who's very poetic in this class? Okay, come, come young Latina girl with the little, look at Cha-Cha with the little dress. I love her. <laughs> Okay, so, who are you? Um, I have a girl who is passionate for acting and writing. Yeah. Oh my god, she's already happening. And if I said to you, you, what is your name? Angie. Angie, you are like what? Complicated. You're complicated. 
complicated? Do you know why you're complicated? A whole person. Yeah? A whole person. That's beautiful. Poetry, poetry, poetry. Who are you? Uh, fire. You are what? Fire. Fire? You're fire? Yeah. So, <laughs> like that fire? Well, what? There's a lot of things that you describe. How would you describe it? Um, confident. Confident. I am fire. I'm confidence. Right? So we start to give ourselves, we start to name ourselves. Don't let anybody name you, you have to name yourself. Sunder, right? I'm always going to remember that. Right? Fuerte over there. Trouble, look at her. She's sitting <laughs> there. But already, you get that, right? The poetry, the language of your people, the language of our people, the language of our community. Chicago has a language, right? Does it have a language? Yes. What is something that is unique to Chicago that I would never, like, might not be unique to me in LA? Stuff. Stuff. That's good stuff. Okay, I love that. Somebody else have another one? Something very unique to Chicago. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Brilliant. In LA we have pitas. Right? So I would say, oh my god, the difference between us is, hey, are you going to go have a pita or are you going to have a hot dog, right? So to the Chicago people, they might say, like, we're having a hot dog. And we might, to you, it might sound like pita, right? But actually, I would say that it's pita. Hot dog, right? So it's the way you see it. It's the way you use language. It's the emotion that you give the words. Does that make sense?